My breakfast is hot. So hot, it's sizzling. That's why they call it sizzling. Oh, Christina doesn't like mayo, but I like mayo. Everybody gets mayo. Sweet. Very sweet. We're heading from Bacola to Dumaguete today on a bus. It's 150 kilometers. Back home on the number one, I'd knocked that out in about an hour and a half. Two hours. Yeah, two hours with breaks, with breakfast breaks. But here, it's going to take six hours. <laughs> You're lucky we can have a bathroom break. Because the driver doesn't even tell you that day out. have coffee. But it'll be great. It'll be fun. Dumaguete is our next destination with a surprise destination after Dumaguete. Well, here we are in Bacolod on the island of Negros at the GT Hotel. And we're just getting ready to leave. We're gonna head down island. We're gonna head south to Dumaguete from Bacolod. We're gonna take a bus. But before we leave and start traveling again, we're gonna do a little review of the GT Hotel. First of all, it was our taxi driver that found this hotel for us. Our original choice was filled up. Taxi driver did a great job, by the way. Ran on the meter, really reasonable, really super helpful and knowledgeable. Brought us to this hotel and I'm really, really glad that he did. The hotel comes in at, Christina's doing the calculations, 1,600, 1,600 pesos. 1,600 pesos, well under $50. 40. $40, bang on. $40 Canadian is yeah. what this hotel is costing us. So really, really super good value. Big, large desk for working uh, with a computer. A plug-in here, two plug-ins there, and a plug-in over there. So tons of plug-ins. It comes with a water boiler and a little coffee station right over here for $40 Canadian. You also get a fridge. You get a fridge for yeah, $40 Canadian. Save my uh, insulin. Yeah, big. We got, because the, we could stay here for a couple of nights, we got the two single beds. That was the room that was open to us, but at $40, look, a nice big area to put luggages. And then in the washroom, we got hot water, like really good hot water right here in this shower. That was excellent. Gotta say about Bacolid, about this hotel anyway, is the water pressure is awesome and the water quality is awesome, like above what you would normally expect, like Vancouver water pressure and water quality. So really good, really, really good place here. The location was great. The staff were super helpful. We headed out to, to get some great barbecue. What a great barbecue town Bacolid is. We hiked on down through the town. Just a really interesting jumping town. Lots of stuff going on as usual. Tons of friendly people. We're able to chill out in the local SM mall, which is surrounded by barbecue places. So a really, really cool place to, to hang out. Just a great couple of days here in Bacolid, getting stuff done, wandering around, checking out the sites, nice church, all that stuff. Really enjoyed the stay here, but... I'm only giving this place 1.5. The reason? Good value, good stuff, but the lighting. It's, there's only two lighting and one. I can't see anything at night. Even the remote control, I have to go to under, under the light just to see the numbers. No, it is. It's, 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 you, the I can't read. Yeah. in the evening in the light that's provided in this room. It's probably yeah. the lowest light room on this trip. We've seen other low light rooms. It's not that unusual, but yeah. this is at the lower spectrum. Correct, 1.5. Nice location, nice size. The TV, you need a genius <laughs> to turn it on. <laughs> you need a genius. But you did succeed. Not me, the guy. That's right. This, the great staff came yeah, and helped you is, run your yeah. TV. But other than that, perfect 1.5. Yeah, I really like this place. This is great value. Hard to get a better value than this hotel. Really, really nice value. Here we are. We're looking out our window here. Really 
enjoyed our stay in Bacolod this time around. We were here in 2000, oh, it's hard to say, maybe 2014, 15. Seemed like a completely different city this time around. Like our experience is so different. It's great to come back. Now we're heading for Dubaghetti. We believe we're going to take a bus the whole way. It's going to take us about six hours. And we're going to hang out in Dubaghetti for two days. And then we're going to head off on a mystery destination. Everything is a mystery. <laughs> yeah, so much of this. We don't know until we get there. Why don't you grab that thing? We are taking a taxi from the GT Hotel to the Saris bus station. Taxis at Bacolod are awesome. Hey, Christina? Yeah. Really good. good experience. Off the bus. Oh. Dubaghetti. Kayong Inn, right? In Dumaguete. What's for dinner? Jalebi. I had it with rice lately. Rice dough? Not me. Rice dough. My rice is in a nice little jelly bee package. Dubaghetti's fun. Steve. 